Are you tired of always having to lose the Danish Gambit? Well, today you are in the right place because I'm going to share with you a line that is super easy to learn and it's also a way that black can neutralize all the initiative that white usually has in the Danish Gambit. So without any further introduction, let's jump right into it. White here goes e4 and we go e5. After d4, we take the pawn and now white goes c3 and this is the starting position of the Danish Gambit. Now, of course, we don't want to take the pawn and go into all the complications and we play the third move, d5. And this is called the Sorensen defense or also the Danish Gambit decline. Now, the main move for white is to take the pawn on d5, but we will first look at a few different options. For example, if white here takes on d4. Now we play bishop to e6, defending our pawn. Now, if white takes, we simply trade queens and this is simply an equal position. So instead here, white goes knight to f3, and now we go knight to c6. We are attacking the queen, bishop to b5, pinning our knight. And now we take on e4. Queen take on e4. Now queen to d5. We are attacking the bishop. So white captures on c6. Pawn capture on c6. Queen capture on d5. Bishop capture on d5. Bishop to e3. Knight to f6. Short castle. Bishop to d6. Rook to e1, short castle, and this is simply an easy position to play for black. I would also say that black here is slightly better. We have the bishop pair, we also have the open b file, which the rook can use. And this is just an easy position to play from the black side. Now in the starting position, if white decides to capture on d4, now we take on e4, knight to c3, knight to f6, and here we are simply a pawn up. For example, if white tries to play against our pawn, for example, knight to e2, now bishop to e7, knight to g3, and we play short castle, and we don't care if white takes on e4. For example, here, if white takes, we take with our knight, knight takes, and now knight to c3 attacking the weak pawn on d4. Bishop to e3 defending, and now bishop to f5, knight to c3, and after bishop to f6, the pawn on d4 is just lost. For example, if white tries to complete his development, bishop to e2, now we take everything on the d4 square, and we are just winning simply because we are a pawn up and we have the bishop pair. Now before we go to the main line, we will examine the last side line that white has, which is to give a check on the a4 square. Now we block with our knight, bishop to b5, bishop to d7, white takes the pawn, and now knight to e5. Bishop capture on d7, queen capture on d7, and queen capture on d4. And here we don't care that our knight is attacked, we simply go long castle. If white takes, he loses his queen. So white here goes knight to e2. We trade queens, and again we have the better position because we have the better development of pieces and uh, we have more activity than white. Now we will examine the main line of this position, which is when white captures the pawn on d5. We recapture with our queen, and now white captures the pawn on d4. And here we start with the move bishop to b4, giving a check. White here cannot block with his bishop because we simply take the pawn. So here white usually blocks with the knight. Now we don't move our queen because the knight is pinned, and we go knight to c6, attacking the pawn. Knight to f3, defending, and now bishop to g4. White goes bishop to e2, and now we take on f3, and we go queen to c4. And the point of this move is that now we are stopping white from castling, and the main move for white here is to capture on c6. But here a lot of players usually confuse the move order, and they go queen to e2 first. And this is a blunder, because we can trade queens, and we take the pawn. And this is why here white takes on c6 first. And now we need to remember that we capture with the pawn, and now white is still stuck, cannot castle. And white here goes queen to e2, trading queens. And now we play long castle. We are attacking the pawn on d4. And after bishop to e3, we go knight to e7. And this is simply an equal position. We can put our knight on f5, attacking the pawn on d4. The rook also can join the game via the e1 square. And also the bishop can rear out to d6. Okay guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next video.